Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is I Run Shib or Shib for short. I appreciate you being here today. The goal of this video is to dive in another set of abyssal dungeons, that being Phantom Palace. The two specific abyssals are called Hall of the Twisted Warlord and Hiddlebrandt Place. The final boss in Hiddlebrandt is actually very complicated and it takes a lot of mechanics, so there's a lot to dive through here. We'll try to make it quick, simple, and easy for you. Let's dive right in. So the first boss is actually a pair. It's the Rook and the Bishop. The Rook is a large rock monster and the Bishop kind of looks like a mage. The main mechanic of this fight is that after a certain period of time, three people will be marked with a blue circle around them. The Rook will then go off to the side and then the Bishop will stay in the middle. The Rook will then throw a dart at whoever isn't marked. And if it connects with them, the team will wipe. So the best solution for this is that all the teammates that have the marker in the blue circle should run off to the side of the map. The teammate without the blue marker should run and hide behind the bishop in the middle so that the rook throws a dart and connects with the bishop. When doing so, it'll undo the mechanic and you'll be able to proceed with the fight. Please note that you're going to want to keep these guys both at low health before you finish the other because when you kill one, it will enrage and embiggen the other, making it much more difficult to kill. The second boss is a Phantom King, and after you do a bit of damage to him, he will teleport to the center of the area and become immune. He will shoot out four swords that will hunt each individual person in the party down, and if these swords aren't handled properly, they will wipe the team. The best solution is to have your team spread out top bottom right and left and run clockwise so that the swords chase you the goal is to have each individual get hit by a sword about a second after the other so that debuffs fall off the first person should get hit as soon as possible when he's launching those swords out and then follow after that so once you all get the debuff wiped off of you he will then run a stagger check mechanic. If you don't beat that shield, you will all get wiped. The key is to ensure you start doing damage, awakening him, maybe use whirlwind grenades, which are cheese against him in this mechanic. As soon as you're done, I'm saying it again, just so you're aware. So the first boss of Hiddlebrandt Palace is the Phantom Queen. This boss isn't really anything crazy as she just uses pretty telegraphed moves, but the main mechanic is that she will create a void wave that sweeps across the map. This wave will wipe anyone that it touches. The best solution and really the only solution to this is to run away from the wave and use a mirror on the opposite side of the map to teleport behind the incoming wave. This may happen multiple times in a row, so please be cautious. Be sure to check the color of the mirror that you are going into as it will match the corresponding mirror that you will be coming out of. And like I said, your goal is to just behind the wave that's coming at you. You'll see here. All right, get in the middle. All right. No, 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 no. Blue. What are you doing? Hey, hey, ho, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm greedy, I'm greedy, I'm greedy. Got it. The second boss of Hiddlebrandt Palace is Belshaza. She has a few major white mechanics, so I'm gonna discuss them all now and then go back and break them all down slowly so you know what to prepare for. So first things first, she has two stagger check shields and then she has two separate line em up mechanics where you're gonna need to coordinate with your teams to ensure you pass a test. So let's dive into it. At roughly 34 health bars and 26 health bars, she'll be attacked by the beast behind her, and you're going to need to stagger check her shield in order to not get wiped. I would obviously use high staggering attacks, or if you have trouble with this, bring whirlwind grenades in and knock that shield down pretty quick. After the stagger checks, Belshaza, or Belshizi as I like to call her, gets creative. At around 16 health bars, she'll mark one person on your team with a red X. The other teammates will have a golden laser beam shooting out in front of them. The team needs to rally around the red X person and point all of their laser beams at him. Once done correctly, three golden circles will appear above the X person's head, and then you can move forward and dodge the big AOE coming in to kill you. Oh, right, now I'll, I'll, I'll. Nice job. Pro tip, if you're trying to get your laser beam to line up on that X person, just auto attack and aim it at the X person. It'll help get that laser beam forward. I typically just keep auto attacking so it makes sure my I'm pretty precise with my aim. At roughly eight health bars though, the same mechanic happens, except one of the three laser beam people will have a golden circle behind them instead of a laser beam in front of them. The red X person needs to stand in that circle while the other two people laser beam the person inside the X. I'm fucking the next second segment, dude. 